Good morning. It is Tuesday, April the 14th. And I just want to give you a couple of things over 4.3. We won't do all the information in 4.3. Okay, we'll just do a couple of things that are going to set us up um, for Chapter 5 on Thursday. Um, just look at a couple of things with vectors. Um, kind of a schedule, if you're needing um, to know kind of the schedule. Let me grab my calendar. Um, so on today we'll do 4.3. And on Thursday, we'll do 5.1 and 5.2. And that will finish up what we will be doing in this class. Okay, uh, that will be the end. I know there's a 5.3, but we will not look at DeMov. So um, after that, Thursday, I'll also post a review. And then uh, the 21st, April 21st, we will have a review session and um, for another test. And then on April the 23rd will be your chapter four or five test that will cover law of sines, law of cosines, vectors, and then um, uh, what we do, vectors, and then um, I've totally lost my train of thought, um, complex trick functions, which is what we'll do on Thursday. So um, next, next Thursday will be your last test, and then the week after that, we will have um, review for the final. I'll let you know where you set grade-wise, and you can make that decision. Um, at that point, um, we have some options. We are scheduled to take our test on uh, the Wednesday of finals week. If we want to take it before that, we can do that, um, but I'm considering doing a survey to kind of see what um, kind of the plans for people, whether they just want to take it on that day, on that, that Wednesday during finals week, or if they want to take it at an earlier date. So um, just kind of, uh, if you see a survey come through from me, please complete it and uh, let me know your ideas for that. So, okay, section three for vectors. So just a couple of thing about, things about vectors to set us up for, um, again, complex trig functions. So what a vector is, is it's a directed line segment, a directed line segment. So it, um, when we think about that directed line segment, we have what's called the magnitude, and the magnitude is the length of that segment. So from its starting point to its ending point, what is the length there? And that's going to look familiar when we find that. We can also find the direction. Okay, we're not going to look at that, but um, we can also find the direction of that measured by the angle. Measured by the angle. Okay, so what it lo what a vector looks like is it has um, it's usually a u, a v, or a w, and it has a line across it with a half an arrow up top. Okay, um, a line across it with a half an arrow, so a directed line segment. And instead of parentheses inside an a b with parentheses, it has um, pointed brackets. Okay, so this is what a vector looks like. A is where you're going horizontally. B is where you're going vertically. So your A and your B do correspond with your X and your Y when we graph these. Um, your initial point of your vector is your starting point. And for what we're going to do, our starting point is always going to be 0, 0. Okay. Um, and then the terminal point is the ending point of the vector. So that's where we'll show um, where we end that. And so it's not just plotting a point, okay? It's plotting a directed line segment. So if your vector, a vector with an initial point, so that starting point of zero, zero, which is what we're gonna do, is said to be in standard form, okay? So we're gonna graph vectors in standard form. So we have vector V is um, the AB. So if we graph a couple of these, okay? So the first one is vector V, five, negative two. So that's in the green here. Okay, the green. So we go to 5, negative 2, and again, we're not just plotting that point. We're taking from our initial point to our terminal point. We have a line there and with an arrow head on the end that just goes to that point. It does not go through that point. It just goes to that point and stops. Okay, to that point and stops. And then u is 1, 1, vector 1, 1. So it goes up to 1, 1 and stops from the... Um, from your uh, initial point zero, zero, and then W negative three, two, goes from the initial point to negative three, two, and stops. So the key things to remember when you're graphing vectors is they go to that vector point and stop, 
Okay, they do not go through it um, like a line does. So it just goes up to that point and stops and it has an arrowhead on the end. So that's what those look like. Now, if we jump a few pages in your notes, if you're following along with your notes, we're gonna jump a few pages to the end. And we're gonna look at how do we find the magnitude? Okay, how do we find the magnitude? So the magnitude is the length of that vector. The length of that vector. So um, this is our formula, but it should kind of look um, very uh, familiar for the simple reason that if we think about what we're finding, okay, if I use this first vector, one, negative four, if I look at what I'm actually finding, this is my, um, my vector, but if I create a right triangle, I'm actually just finding the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Okay, and so that's what the magnitude is, that formula for finding the magnitude is the square root of a squared plus b squared. So for this first one, one squared plus negative four squared. So you get um, your magnitude to be the square root of 17. And then um, v, vector v is three, two. And so substitute in a squared plus b squared, the square root of that, and you get the square root of 13. Okay. Now, this is the same idea as finding the hypotenuse of a right triangle. We're also going to use this idea of finding the magnitude or the length of that vector on Thursday when we do complex trig functions. So um, we will definitely see this information again, so that's why you want to look at it. So um, if you get, if you work your problem, you're finding the magnitude, and you get your magnitude to be one. We call this the unit vector, and the reason for that is that means the length of that is one, which means it corresponds to the radius is one and goes back to our unit circle. So that's why it's called the unit vector. I did change um, the assignment a little bit, just 11 to 14, just practicing. Um, you can practice graphing okay, vectors, but also um, just practice finding the magnitude because again, we will see that for sure on um, Thursday. So if you do have any questions, um, anything on quizzes, please reach out. Um, but we will uh, plan, we'll finish up our notes. Our last day of notes will be Thursday. So um, the last day of presenting new material. So it's kind of an exciting day. And so um, we'll go from there. If you have questions, please reach out. Have a great day.